There's no such thing as winning arguments. Let's, let's remove that whole notion and concept from our minds, okay? You can't win when you're fighting with your partner. If you're fighting, you're both losing. queens and kings out there it is your girl Lydia Caesar aka the sassy wife and today really quickly I just want to talk to y'all about teamwork in a relationship we tend to spend a lot of time arguing and uh, talking about who's right and who's wrong and you know discussing the injustices of a relationship um, discussing problems and issues that we may have because naturally life comes with problems and issues so relationships do too the first thing I want to stress and express to you guys is that if you guys are arguing, nobody is winning. There's no such thing as winning arguments. Let's, let's remove that whole notion and concept from our minds, okay? You can't win when you're fighting with your partner. If you're fighting, you're both losing. Even if you feel like you made your point, you got your point across, if it took being mean and nasty and cursing at your partner, and being negative to your partner and making your partner feel less than, you didn't win anything, you lost. The sooner we can get that ingrained into our mind that there's no winners and losers in arguments in your relationship, the smarter you will argue and the less you will argue. You will have more conversations, constructive conversations that result in both of you having a higher level of comprehension and understanding at the end. Because if you whooped your husband's butt in a fight so what now he you've made him feel less of a man you have the crown on your head i won the argument crown but he doesn't feel better you may feel your ego may feel a little bit better but your relationship isn't better so you lost so that's first get in your mind that there's no winners only losers when you argue when you're combative there is only loss for both of you okay once you get this deep deep ingrained, you'll be able to move forward and have more healthy conversations and discussions as opposed to arguments and fights. Second is, you are a team, so you must support each other in every aspect. There's no competition. Stop competing with each other. If you win, he wins. If he wins, you win. So when he's down bad, you're down bad too. So you need to lift him up. You need to be what he's not in those moments. If he's lacking, it is not your job to kick him. See, you ain't nothing. Use a bum like I always knew you were. Why, 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 how, how, how is this helping your relationship? He's down, you gotta be up. You have to be in a position to be able to help him and hold him because y'all are a team. So there's no such thing as being down. If he's down and you up, he's up and vice versa. There's no such thing as losing when you have a team. When you're a team together and you both have a mind frame to win, you cannot lose. The only way you lose is when you battle each other. When you wanna be the winner, he wanna be the winner. Y'all both wanna be on top. You're not gonna win. Your relationship is going to fail. You're going to lose. She's in the limelight, she's shining bright, she's growing, her brand is growing, whatever it is that she's working on is growing and booming and business is booming. You are there to celebrate her, not to stifle her, not to tell her slow down, not to tell her sit down, not to tell her wife's place is at home. No, your job is to be there to support her and to help. Okay, baby, I see things are getting real busy for you. How can I help? Delegate to me. Give me some responsibilities and vice versa. Your man started a business and it's booming. How can you be there to support him? What can you do to help him? Because at the end of the day, you are a union. He's booming, business is booming, and he's winning. That means a new pair of shoes for you, sis. <laughs> that means new, more food on the table. That may mean a bigger tax bracket, bigger, better, nicer cars. That may mean the difference between renting and purchasing, right? So this is how we have to think of our relationship. Think of it as, okay, you know what? This is what I can do by myself, and now I have a partner that we can win together. We're not gonna be competing for anything. All we want to do is win in the long run together. 
Number three, what's really important to do is to celebrate each other. Okay, this kind of goes in line with number two, but it's so important to like celebrate your spouse, celebrate every victory. I mean, really build him up, build her up. You need to be like each other's biggest cheerleader. Like pump his ego, make him think he's the best thing in the world. Even if he needs work in certain areas, the way you encourage him should still make him feel like he's the sh Okay, he's not perfect. Maybe you're not perfect, but you know what? You're so good at this, this, and this that I know if you applied the same principles that you did to these things, to this, you would take over the world. And that is basically you encouraging him. That's you telling him that he's not so great at one thing, but the way you packaged it, it's making him feel like he's the light of the world. And he should do the same thing for you. You all need to be each other's biggest cheerleaders because you are a team. And finally, number four is Lead the way you want to be led, right? There's always a team captain. And there may be different roles, you know? Your, your, your man may be the team captain when it comes to bringing money home. Your wife may be the team captain when it comes to taking care of the household. And that's typical. So it may even be the other way around. The wife may bring in the bacon. She may be the captain on that end. And he may be the captain of taking care of the household. Whatever it is, you need to learn how to lead how you want to be led. What makes a great leader is knowing how to follow first. Let me say that again. What makes a great leader is knowing how to follow first. If you know how to be a diligent follower, if you know how to listen when somebody tells you what needs to be done and get it done, if you know and learn how important it is, how important it is for a leader to have a good, submissive, trusting follower, now you're in a position to lead because you know exactly how it feels to be on the opposite side. So that means you're not gonna abuse the people who you're leading. You're not gonna talk to them any old kind of way. You're going to lead in a way that you would want to be led. And that is so important in your relationship and your team building. Make sure that you lead your wife the way you wanna be led, the way you wanna be talked to, and vice versa. Don't just come home shouting and screaming, you know, at your husband because things aren't how you thought they should be or whatever the case may be. Learn how to lead in a positive way. Lead in a way that your partner doesn't just love you, but they like you. They want to come home to you every day. They want, they want to hear your criticism because they know it's going to be constructive and help them grow, not be negative and are condescending. Okay? Remember this, guys. You, are your, you and your partner are, are a team. A team that cannot lose if you both have a mind frame to win. If you have a mind frame to hold him when he's down, to hold her when she's down, I promise you, your relationship is going to thrive and be that much better and that much stronger because you chose to be a team player. Leave me a note in the comments. Are you a team player? Do you work well with your partner? You know, have you guys figured out a rhythm of how to like make things work? Let us know. Share with each other so that we can all grow and have better, stronger, healthier relationships. And don't forget to go in love and light.